Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of We Builds, and in this one, we are going to make the attitude indicator, and this is going to be the last build and the most complex one because uh, there are a lot of moving parts in the attitude indicator. After this, I'll be making a final video for the package, and I'll show you how we connect all our instruments to the Microsoft Flight Simulator, how we get output from that game, and then show it in our uh, in our instruments. So stay tuned for that, make sure you check it out and enjoy this video. Let's go. Let's break another one for the attitude indicator. So guys for the <coughs> attitude indicator it's a two way motion so that's why we will need some container like this cylindrical or can be hollow or anything so this container <coughs> will have one step one servo motor here so this will take care of the rotation this way and then we need the rotation up and down as well so for that inside this container we will place another motor which will let's say move at uh, this dial this part of it it will move it up and down so i'll start with this motor so for that i will cut this out because <clears throat> the one arm will be extending like this and then this is going to be connected on that and i can move this you know up and down so the arm i don't want to make it too long that's why I'll, i will cut this part so let's do this Here it is, uh, I pasted these two, whatever they came with this motor, pasted them together. So now I can paste this <coughs> over here like this. So this is the up and down motion. Uh, next for this shell, I need something uh, spherical and turns out these roll on deodorants are coming really handy in my <laughs> DIYs. So I'll be using this cap. Uh, and then I can place this motor inside there like that so that it is just barely on the top and I'll paste it there oh not like this uh, like that like this okay so uh, it will it will have to stay like this here and then I can place another motor on the back of this to you know rotate it fully for the for the full uh, for the full circular rotation and then eventually in the end i'll place all of this here so this is how it is going to look so let's do this There you go guys part one is ready <clears throat> this is not the real uh, paper that i'm going to use i'll be replacing this but just for testing purpose see this is how it is working wow. looks good right yeah so pretty cool right and easier than i thought so yeah that's done now let's uh, work on the rotatory thing <laughs> Now this one is supposed to be easy. I <clears throat> I just need to paste one of those these things that comes with the servo motor over here on the top of this, and that's about it. It'll be done. Now next up is to place this motor in here and then you know make a case behind it so that I can stick that motor right there and it can rotate here freely. <coughs>
guys come check this uh, the structure is completely ready we are left with the face i'll do that in a bit but before that let me show you what you have done so far so check this out this goes like left and right and for the pitch i mean this is for the roll and this is for the pitch oops i fell down <laughs> but yeah that's not ready yet i didn't paste it but yeah this is how it is going to move so if i move both of them together you can check this it will be something like this time for the cutout uh, so this is the one This is going to be the cap of it and I am going to paste this over here because this is ready. So this will be the outline and the plane. I am going to place it here in such a way that it overlaps it. That's the only thing left and then we are ready. <laughs> guys the vsi is ready uh, sorry not the vsi the attitude indicator is ready as well look at this thing not pretty uh, not as pretty as the others but you know it's very complex so i am really happy with it let me show you this is the bank this is how our plane will bank and <clears throat> and this is the pitch check it out 20 degrees and 20 degrees so this is how it all works and you know this out so we are pitching up and turning to the le uh, to the right pitching down turning to the left they Beautiful. Nice. Now this is finished. So next obviously is to connect it <coughs> to our six wax panel and this right here is too big. It doesn't fit. So I have to cut a piece out from here and then move this driver to let's say here and then should be good. Okay, so let's do this. So guys, uh, this thing, uh, the attitude indicator, the earlier what I created with the cardboard that you saw in the video, that was not working so smoothly and it was breaking again and again. So I had to open it up. Sorry, I missed recording it, but it's, it's not um, so much of a big change. I just replaced that cardboard strips that we used with this box. This was a box for the earbuds. So I throw the uh, earbuds out these yeah, i threw them out and then i use this box here 
so now it is more sturdy and looks better also so here it is and now this thing uh, this thing is quite stable and it will not break as often so that's good we are done uh, once again now again i need to place it there but this time i just need have uh, the all the connections are already there just need to place it there let's quickly do that <laughs> Now this roll servo is connected to pin uh, number 32, yeah 32, so now I have this my servo check program based on which I will decide at what values, uh, it shows what angle, so let's see, let's try 100, 90, okay 90 is this, so 100 again, 102, 105, 104. Uh, let's say 90104 okay so nope still no a little more to the right one one zero no one zero two okay i feel one zero zero one zero two one zero two one zero eight one zero two i feel one zero two is the center so when I write 102 degrees to the servo, it is in the center and that way I am going to decide all the angles and you know then I can go ahead with writing the program. So time lapse for you. So I have all the reading for pitch and bank so I can work on the code now so let's quickly do this and then I'll show you the final test. Okay for the attitude indicator we'll start from already in the air because that's wow it's such a nice view okay because that's where we can check our bank roll pitch everything okay so let's try banking a little to the left and you can see the attitude indicator shows we are banking now 20 degrees uh, 10 degrees now 20 degrees and 30 degrees so as expected the bank is showing correctly and bank towards the right awesome both correct now let me show you the pitch uh, is there an airport nearby yes there is uh, let's go towards the airport Wow. wow this this view is awesome man okay <clears throat> now time for the pitch uh let me show you the pitch now if i bank my plane downwards let's see there you go five degrees ten degrees and more so you see the pitch is also working side by side the bank is also working if we bank it hey, come, on, <clears throat> come back to fading level now if i pitch up full throttle pitch up check this out 10 degrees 15 degrees 20 degrees that's how the pitch is also working awesome If you like this video, please consider subscribing. This guy's not slowing down. Yeah, that's confirmed. He's not stopping. Code 3.